This next one is going to get a lot of people talking. This rumor is saying in their report of what they believe or what they are claiming as fact that Marvel is going to be announcing at their Comic-Con Hall H thing is that Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman will be coming on stage and announcing that they are returning for the Avengers films. Now, of course, by the time this panel happens, Deadpool and Wolverine will have been in theater for a couple of days, so their press tour will essentially have come to an end. And listen, would it be the biggest pop of CinemaCon, or CinemaCon, I keep wanting to say CinemaCon, of Comic-Con, out of all these alleged announcements that are coming, would this one be the singular biggest pop that they get? 100% it would be. First of all, just getting Hugh and Ryan coming out on stage. Huge big pop announcing, and by the way, guys, because by that point, I guarantee you, there's not going to be a single person in Hall H that hadn't seen Deadpool by that point. Like, these geeks and nerds, are you kidding me? They're going to be with me on Thursday night. They're going to be out there at the theaters Thursday night, if not Friday morning. So they're all going to have seen it, right? So they're going to have seen Deadpool and Wolverine. They're going to be super stoked. They're still going to be riding that high. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman then come on stage and say, oh, and by the way, we're sticking around for Avengers 5 and Avengers 6. That's what this report says is going to happen. I don't buy it. I, I I don't buy it for a couple of reasons. Number one, as of right now, Avengers 5 doesn't even have a writer. Michael Waldron, who had picked up, remember they had a writer, I think it was Loveness who was going to be writing it, then he left, they replaced him with Michael Waldron, and just yesterday they announced that Michael Waldron's no longer on it either. So they don't even have a writer for this movie, yet they're saying that, so I, I don't buy that. The other reason I don't buy that is because, again, I've said this many times and everybody disagrees, and maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. But I honestly think this is it for Hugh Jackman. He already said he was done after Logan. He said he's retired. I think finally being on screen with Ryan Reynolds was the one swan song. I think that's it. I think is the absolute one swan song done. Now, again, I might be right. I might be wrong about that. Because, listen, if Hugh and Ryan come on stage at Comic-Con on Saturday and they announce this, guys, just you know, we're, we're the team is back. We're going to be back for Avengers 5 and 6. Listen, nobody's going to be happier about it than me. I will be I will be partying it up in the streets with everybody else. I just don't think it's going to be happening. I mean, the only thing that I could see that could get a huge pop on that on those terms is we don't know how Deadpool ends. What if Deadpool actually ends on a cliffhanger and there's a second part to it and they come out and they announce the title of the second part? I, I'm saying well, that's far-fetched, but, but that yeah. would be amazing. If they came out and say, we didn't actually just shoot one Deadpool movie. Right. We shot two. two. Yeah. And so we're pulling a Kevin Costner. Yep. And releasing it next month. And they're all three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all three hours long. <laughs> um, no, I'm saying it's far-fetched, but I'm just saying that could get it. That would be a yeah. huge box. Okay. Too. You know what? You're right. That beats it. Mm-hmm. If they came out on stage... And said, obviously, this, by the way, this is not what was in this report. But I'm just saying, to, to go on what Jonathan's saying, if Hugh and Ryan actually came on stage and say, you know, by the way, when we were shooting, we didn't just shoot one Deadpool movie. Right. We shot two. Oh, my. Okay. All right. <laughs> if they That's did that, yeah. my my bladder would evacuate. I mean, it, it <laughs> I, you. that would be. That would be the coup of the century. If they were, if they had managed to, without anybody finding out that they'd actually shot two movies under the guise that they were just shooting one. Okay, that that would be something. That's not happening. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no way. They need to pull no. that off now, though. That'd be great. If they could pull that off, that would be insane. So, this whole thing about Ryan and Hugh coming on stage announcing that they're going to be back for Avengers, would that be absolutely massive and huge? Absolutely it would be. I I just don't see it. By the way, we're going to talk more about it on tomorrow's show. We're going to save it for tomorrow's show. But a new Deadpool spot just dropped with the 
best line out of any of the Deadpool trailers so far. When they fall out of the sky and a little kid goes, that's Wolverine. And Deadpool goes, that's right. Disney brought him back. They're going to make him keep playing this till he's 90. And I don't know, maybe that's true. Maybe that joke is a foreshadow of an announcement at Comic-Con that mm-hmm. they're going to be back. I, I, but again, I don't think it's going to happen. But if it does, be super stoked about it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Game Time. My wife, Ann, and I love going to events, whether they're comedy shows, concerts, an LA Lakers game. I mean, just the other night, we went to go see Ronnie Chang, and it was awesome. We love having these new experiences and new memories. And our sponsor, Game Time, makes getting tickets for concerts and events faster and easier, even if you don't buy tickets right away. Because prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer you get to the show start time. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying event tickets. I couldn't believe how easy and most importantly, intuitively, the entire app works. Finding the event I was looking for couldn't have been easier. The way it lays out the map of the venue, letting you know exactly where the seats are that you're looking for and how easy the process was to choose and buy those tickets. So don't worry if you think you're too late to get tickets to that big event you and your friend want to go to. They have last minute deals. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, whatever. So guys, take the guesswork out of buying concert tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code CAMPIA for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CAMPIA, C-A-M-P-E-A, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.